Sometimes you want to simulate a transaction on the main net, but maybe you're in a hurry or you don't feel like setting up a test and then running a test on the main net fork. You just want to simulate a simple transaction on the main net. Good news for you, Tenderly allows you to simulate a transaction. So in this video, I'm going to show you how. The first thing that you'll have to do is sign up and log into tenderly.co. And once you're logged in, you'll see a dashboard like this. And what you want to do is on the left, click on simulator. And then you'll be able to run a simulation by clicking on the new simulation on the right. For this example, I'm going to simulate a transaction to do a trade on Uniswap from ETH to DAI. Now, I'm not actually going to send a transaction for this trade. All I want to do is run a simulation. So back in Tenderly, inside the simulator page, the first thing that you'll want to do is click on this new simulation button on the right. For this example, we're going to be calling the Uniswap B3 contract. So over here, we'll click on use custom contracts. And then we'll need to fill in the address and the input data. Now there are several ways to do this, but the easiest way I found out was to copy paste the info from MetaMask. And to do that back inside Uniswap, the first thing that I'll do is click on swap and then hit confirm swap. Once you see MetaMask pop up on the left, be super careful not to click on confirm. This will send a transaction which we do not want to do. We just want to extract the transaction data from MetaMask and then run a simulation. To do that, I'll click on the data tab and the contract that we're calling is over here. So I'll click on this. That will copy the address of Uniswap over to my clipboard. And back inside Tenderly, I'm gonna paste the address of Uniswap B3 in here. For the network, it will be on mainnet. And let's now go back to MetaMask to copy paste the input data. Back inside MetaMask, be sure that you clicked on the data tab again. And the input data that we want is over here. It's called the hex data. So I'm gonna copy all of this, control C, and then paste it inside here for the input data. Before we run the simulation, we also need to fill some information over here on the right. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. We'll run the simulation against the pending block. So I'll leave it as is. And we want to simulate a transaction from my wallet. So I'll have to put in my address inside here. And to do that, I'm going to click Use Custom From Address. And then back inside Uniswap, I still have my MetaMask open, and I'm going to copy my wallet address by clicking on my wallet account. And then back inside Tenderly, I'm going to paste my wallet address in here. Now we're ready to simulate a transaction. So I'm going to scroll down and then hit Simulate Transaction. You can see here that the simulation failed, and if I scroll down, it'll show me some details of why it failed. And if I scroll further down, you'll see all the function execution that was called. Now, that was a quick video on how to run a simulation on the main network. I use this feature often to learn about new smart contracts and also to debug transactions. I hope you found this useful, and in the next video, I'll show you how to debug a transaction. Thanks for watching. See you later.